We're good. Thanks, Mike, for uh, for coming in to ask us questions. Love yeah, the outfit. Yes. Yes. It is it is my pleasure. Honestly, here's here's the thing. Uh it's it's already December, and hands down, this is one of my favorite movies of the year. This is there's never been a question about it since I saw it that I, I knew this was going to be one of my favorite movies of the year. And because it came out so long ago in May. You know, I want people to be reminded about how truly good this movie was and how truly good it looks. And all of that, particularly, especially the visual effects, that's you guys. Um, so especially during this award season, this movie definitely needs the recognition and deserves the recognition that I think is coming to it because uh, you guys just did stellar work. So it's my pleasure to talk to you guys about your process, about your craft and all of this. So thank you very much for this opportunity. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for the nice words. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Um, I gotta start with this. I mean, when you're when you're working on a franchise like Guardians of the Galaxy, even the whole MCU, which all of you guys have had massive experience in, um, you know, it's it's hard to find ways to sort of top yourself, to to give the audience something that they've never seen before. And yet with volume three, not only do you guys do that, Gun does James Gunn does that, Fred Raskin does that. Um, it's just Everything from the Orgo sphere to, uh, you know, some of the, the characters that you guys have done, how how Groot has evolved over the years, how Rockets evolved over the years. And let's not forget the newest characters, Lila, Teefs and Floor. You know, um, it's challenging to even come up with something new after things have already been established. So when you guys are thinking about the look and feel of let's start with the characters, uh, Floor, Teefs and, and uh, you know, uh, Lila. I mean, where did that come from and how did you guys kind of put that soul into every single one of these characters? I, I'm going to talk because I'm I'm, I'm the, the supervisor for the entire film, but and then we can go uh, more in detail with uh, Alexi, for example, on these characters. But the, the, um, I think just overall, as it, this movie, I think more than a lot of movies that, that we've done in the, the last few years, because it was the last one, because we knew coming in that it was the the story of Rocket that everybody loves. And a lot of people that have worked on this movie have worked on the previous films or the, the other films that have Rocket in it. And it's a characters that a lot of us, like visual effects people, actually really love. <laughs> and all the Guardians characters we love, you know, they're misfits. They're a bit like the visual effects people, you know, they're like <laughs> the weirdos. So <laughs> uh, we kind of feel attached to them. And 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 James is also a great director that to work with because he's, he's, he's very uh, passionate about everything, the characters, the look of the film. And so everybody on the on the, the film, I think all the teams at all these great facilities, they were they were very excited to to come and work on this. And you can feel the love actually really in the way the work has has come out of it. You know, it's it is a labor of love for a lot of these people. So uh just to talk about the characters, everything comes from the, the page, you know, from James writing on the page having these ideas in his head sometimes he even as on the side of his script he has some little drawings because he does drawings of like oh you know especially lila he had that otter with the, the the mechanical arms and all that stuff then he talks to the people at the visit department at at marvel and then he comes you know he's driving their design their concepts and then afterwards that comes to us and i i share with alexi we discussed a lot with james uh, about who these characters are and there's a lot of involvement with the actors as well the casting of the actors you know James knows what he wants to get out of these characters and the actors kind of we did two days of virtual uh, production uh, the first two days of the shoot to shoot the 15 minutes of flashbacks in the movie and then all of that you know we discuss a lot with Alexei and his team and he can talk about his process there but um, that all comes initially from James brain really <laughs> yeah. um, you no, I think, I think the challenge was to really emotionally connect with these animals, these creatures. They were in such a dark environment, these cages. And so it was all about how do we make sure that they have, well, first they look real. So it's, it's, a, it's a lot. We are learning uh, a lot from the real animals. So in the case of Lila, for example, we are looking at hundreds and hundreds of reference of authors. We are looking at hundreds of videos of how an author move and what speed can she move. So we want it to be real. It's 
mostly the actor performance. The actor is so important and the actress playing Lila was just so good and it was just so emotionally strong. But of course, we have to mix it with a bit of uh, the animal as well. So it's it's that mixed that creates the, the final output, the final character. And then uh, it's a lot of hours and uh, great artists uh, around the world working on making each detail, making her sweet. I know Steph and I spent hours and hours uh, studying Lila on different key poses to, to understand. Even for us, we, we were trying to understand what is it that makes Lila sweet? Uh, uh, which lighting will emphasize and help her? What is it in the mouse that we can do to make her talk like a human? But what is it that we can't do because then it looks weird? So I think we, we were learning as we go as well. And I think it's just a, a lot of love for the characters to make them look good. I think mission accomplished everything from their eyes to, you know, their, their mouths and the way that they move. You made a lot of people in theaters cry everywhere. I kind of want you guys to know that the we impact cried a of... lot. We <laughs> cried as we were making it. I mean, we yeah. cried because we were suffering through the process. <laughs> no, but we <laughs> cried because we were watching the scenes over and over and over. And every time we cried and every time we were getting a new version with better animation, with better lighting, with better render, we were crying even more. Even James was crying in the room. It was it was an emotional journey for all of us. It was that just it, it just floors me and it flabbergasts me and that's that's exactly why you guys deserve like an Oscar nomination later this year is because you guys managed to bring out that emotion in these characters that physically they're not there there's no real Lila there's no real floor there's no real thieves but but for us we connected with them so well and it, it hurt us so much when you know the inevitable happens to them um but it's such a beautiful wonderful story and the emotion that you guys put in yes it's the writing and it's the acting but it's also what you guys bring to life you know um i i'd love to talk about the environment as well um the orgoscope i mean when james comes up to you and tells you that you've got a organically created almost a living kind of planet you know made of biomaterial like in your heads how are you designing all of this because that's one of the most beautifully crafted sequences in the movie is the uh the scene where they're jumping through the mm -hmm. scope. Um uh, yeah. <laughs> Leo, go ahead. You were you were in charge of yeah. all this. You're talking about the uh the the outside in space or inside yeah. with white outside? Yeah, yeah, yeah outside. Um it was daunting. Uh, um because it's it's definitely a concept that's a little bit out there. Um and you're like, okay, so <clears throat> you don't want to pull the audience member away from this, from the actors and the, and the story, but it still needs to be this sort of fantasy environment. Uh, the concept that that the visiting team put together was, um, and we stayed pretty true to that. Uh, it was definitely used, you know, really verbatim to, to, to sort of copy the style and the volumes and the shapes. But but then there's a whole stage of, of research that goes into it, and. It's always amazing working visual effects, like the, the challenges you you take on and all the different things you have to learn about. Like, you know, you know, Alexis is learning about otters. He probably studied otters more, more than he ever imagined he would in his life. Um, and, and, you know, our team is pouring over reference of like surgeries and, you know, body parts and things like that. Sending Steph all these reference images. That for some Pretty point, rough stuff. <laughs> he just said, okay, stop, no more. <laughs> so, but um, you know, you 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 do your research and and you try to find something that that is real that we can connect with that you can you can you can put into the work, um, so that people people have a point of reference when they're watching it, um, and it was it was a challenge. It really was uh, hard to make that environment work from far away and up close because far away it still has to look like a piece of muscle, but then when you're right on the surface, it still has to look the same. So, therein lies sort of the the biggest technical challenge to try to make it work. But it was it definitely was fun. And, you know, it's it takes a team. It's certainly not the four of us. Right. Our, oh, yeah. You know, just just our 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 image works team was, you know, close to 300 people working on it. So and everyone else had a similar size or larger. Understood. It looked gorgeous. I, 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 I have to say, I wish I could talk to you guys more because everything that everyone has contributed to on this movie has just looked gorgeous and talking to you guys has just been so fascinating. Uh, I, I want to give a shout out to Guy as well, who I didn't get a chance to ask you an answer, uh, question, but uh, the work that Weta does is amazing and, and the work that all of you guys have put together on this has been brilliant. I really hope everyone um you know uh puts you know get ends up ends up recognizing this towards the end of the year because it's just from fantastic work thank you guys so much for everything uh thank please 
uh, you know, good luck this award season. And thank you for crafting such an amazing, amazing movie. But more than that, an amazing universe. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, Mike. Have a great one, guys. Thank you. Activist directors, comments and the lectures, fanboys, professional artists and professors. Maybe a nerd who's just like you, talking about the things that you like too. So I invite you to the NOC. In full color, you see me. The hard not like comics, movies, and TV. Yeah, pop culture with a different perspective. Watch it on your screen, hit play, so check this.